When I get punched in a boxing match, I still fight through it. And when I get knocked, I still get up because that's what boxing is about. I have other boxers that I've worked with much older than him, and a lot of them complain, a lot of them cry. He doesn't. I want to be a world champion one day. I don't want to quit. I never pushed him to do this. He chose boxing. I've been in the Junior Olympics in the Silver Gloves, and I won the state championship in the regionals. He has placed first place in every tournament in New Jersey. In boxing, you get knocked down. But the thing is with Dylan, he always gets back up. I'm going to go as far as I could possibly go. My name is Dylan Diaz. I'm 11 years old, and I'm a boxer. You're going to have a big day today, so you need to have a big breakfast. Usually, I start my day with a big bowl of cereal and milk. And then after that, me and my dad will go to the park and do some cardio training. And it's fun because my dad is really supportive and cheering me on. From a real early age, Dylan was interested in boxing. It was very early on, maybe like two years old. I used to have him sit down with me and watch the fights, and he used to like imitate the boxers. I really wanted him to do baseball or basketball, because that's what I used to play, and boxing is a very dangerous sport. But as a kid, I wanted to do boxing myself. My dad wouldn't allow me to do boxing. So I know the feeling when you want to do something and your parents hold you back. So I gave him the opportunity to do what he wants to do. I used to look at Dylan a little bit like kind of nervous because I didn't really want him to be a boxer, but I knew after seeing him do it for about a year at two years old that he really had a passion for it. He had the enthusiasm and he also had the parental support, so I think that's all we needed to get him started, and we did. I started training with Coach Dredd when I was six years old. The very first time I took him to the boxing gym, he was so excited. He was actually upset because there was other little kids that were going into the ring, but they were a little more experienced already, and he wanted to go into the ring. But he was just too young, he just started. You gotta learn the basics, the foundations. Well, he wasn't a boxer when he first started. I mean, that's what we was looking to establish. Well, I felt with the guidance of Dredd and hard work and dedication of Dylan that he would too become a champion. Looking at his coordination and how he has grown over the years, not just in height, but in functionality, I think that's a plus. Well, what impressed me about him was he had the right tenacity as a young kid. He was very brave. He wanted to try. He was so tiny. I really didn't quite expect that from him. I thought maybe it'd be for a day or two, but then it continued to be that way. Since Dylan has started training with Coach Dredd, I have seen him very passionate and very excited. We're just going to have to continue doing what we're doing. Uh, I got some big plans for him, for his training, and you know, how we gonna proceed here. I mean, the environment permits it, so you see what we got. When I go into uh, the ring and I'm doing myth work with Dylan, I look for a variety of different things. I look for speed, I look for timing, I look for the ability to follow instructions, I look for the ability not to give him any instruction. Can he read my movements, interpret it, move accordingly? For example, if I step in, do he step back? When he do step back, do he fire based on what is available in front of him? And those are some of the things that really set the, the tone of what we do inside of the ring on the mitts. Coach Dredd, he doesn't take it easy on me. Well, I think that if you're, it is a boxing coach's duty or responsibility or something that they strive off of to, to encourage young athletes or any athlete at all. We may say push, but I think it's more or less along the lines of encouragement. And I want to encourage everybody that I work with, specifically Dylan, to give me his best. Because sometimes if they're left alone to do just as they want, they'll do just the basic. But when you push them, they try to strive past what they feel and give you, because you build a relationship with them, what it is that they believe that you see in them. He's come a long way watching him now from when he started. I remember he couldn't get the jump rope underneath his feet, and now he's competing with the best in the nation. Well, there are a few things about Dylan that makes me believe that he is going to be a very good boxer. First is his heart. Second is his ability to show up and continually give you his entire soul, his best. He never says no, and he never complains, and he's always willing to pretty much be redirected, and it's never a problem for him to just follow what he hears. And I think that is priceless because he's coachable. When I shadow box, I imagine a real person, taller or shorter. Shadow boxing helps with warming up because you're imagining a real person in front of you. When you actually get in the ring, you'll be ready. 
When Dylan is shadow boxing, it may vary because I might want him to shadow box somebody that he had a little bit of trouble with. It might be a little taller than him. It could be a left-handed fighter. And I want to give him that mind state to go in and start shadow boxing that particular individual in his imagination. So I'll have him deal with that height. It might be a little taller than him. So I'll have him box somebody taller from his imagination, which means his hands might be a little bit up higher. I might be doing a lot more slipping drills and countering, and that way he'll get a chance to show me what it is that I'm looking for. Boxing training is really hard, but after my workout, I'm pretty beat. Boxing take a lot out of you, so it is very good to replenish the body in order that you could be more productive the next time you show up. After a big workout, Dylan likes to have a glass of chocolate milk. It gives him what he's looking for and he just loves the taste. It's important to rest so you don't get injured or hurt. You have to always take care of your body when you're boxing. These are different trophies from all the different boxing tournaments. I got this trophy from the Diamond Gloves. It's special to me because the kid was two years older than me and bigger and I knocked him down. This trophy, I also knocked a kid down, and I got this one from True Warriors Boxing Gym. I got this trophy from Aces Boxing Gym. The kid was 10 and 0, and I beat him. This trophy is special to me because it brought me to the Nationals. This medal, I got it from the Golden Gloves, and I beat the kid. This trophy was my first ever trophy. It's still special to me, even though I lost, because it's gonna bring back memories from my first fight. It's a reminder to never give up and never stop trying. After Dylan's first fight where he lost, I noticed he became even more motivated and he became more driven to get better. When Dylan walked into his first fight, I just told him to go out there, don't worry about wins or losses, just have fun and do your best. As long as you give your best, that's all I care about. He lost his very first fight, which I think was beneficial for him losing his first fight because he came back even stronger and won his next four fights. You don't see kids Dylan's age working this hard. They'd rather be home playing video games when he wants to be at the gym. Don't get me wrong, he plays video games too, but he's all about work. Video games come last. I understood that he loves to play video games. He also likes to interact with the rest of his family. Let's go. I think success represents him growing in the sport. I like winning, but the best part is me getting better and stronger. I hope that he gets his dream, that he wants to become a world champion. Eventually, if he keeps on, most of the boxers today who are champions, they started at a very young age, like Dylan. So as long as he keeps going, he could achieve that dream of becoming a world champion.